Hi there, and welcome back to another video about MailMate. My name is Matt Petrowski. I'm a MailMate user and enthusiast, been using it for years. It is my daily client for all of my email management. In this video, we're taking a look at power user key bindings, working the way that you want to. Now, as I've stated in some of the other videos in this series, I came from Gmail in the browser. I made the switch a long time ago, switched from standard Apple Mail to Gmail, primarily because of the key bindings. I like to do mail really quickly, and you can do that when you can keep your hands on the keyboard. Now, there's nothing wrong with the mouse, but if you like to do things quick, and you're familiar with things such as VI or Vim, then using key bindings is a really great way to move around in your mail. So as I switch over to Google Chrome, I'm in the settings within my account here, and one of the options under the general section within a Gmail account is when you scroll down, one of the options that we find is this one right here, keyboard shortcuts off or on. Now when I was using Gmail, this was the option, the first option that I would actually turn on on all of my Gmail accounts. Scroll down, save my changes, and now I have all of my key bindings, which can all be seen within the browser by simply hitting the question mark. So when you bring the question mark or hit the question mark, you get all of the keyboard shortcuts. And if you took the time to learn these, managing your mail became extremely efficient when you were within the browser. Now the key thing is you don't want to lose all of these key bindings. This is a lot of mnemonics. It's memory that you can use in order to go to a message, select that message, go back up the chain, go to another message, go back up the chain, be able to send this to another box or to tag it or to make it unread, do whatever you want to do to the messages. Select it, select the other one, make those both unread, make them read, do whatever you want to do. This is where MailMate totally sold me. The fact that I didn't lose any of these bindings and letting me work the way that I want to work was why I switched to MailMate. Number one, I wanted to be able to sort and have things grouped together. Gmail doesn't do that. Number two, I needed the key bindings and that's exactly what MailMate gives me. So as I switch over to MailMate and we bring that window forward, this is a very easy setting. You simply go into your preferences, which I'm doing with command period. And then here in the very first general section, you're going to find the option to have custom key bindings. Now, MailMate ships with a number of these, but if you're really adventurous, you can actually create and modify your own. In fact, there's a little question mark right here, which will bring up MailMate's help conveniently and point you right to the exact location where you can find information about how you can modify this. Now, I love this feature, the ability to keep all of my standard Gmail key bindings in order to interact with all of my mail within a client that not only allows me to group that mail, but then to apply the power of smart filters sold me in a heartbeat. I simply had to take the time to make the switch. Now, as you scroll down, uh, uh, down here at the very bottom, is where you're going to get to where the key bindings are stored. So if you're ever going to want to modify these or tweak them and make them your own, you're going to need to read this part about key bindings in MailMate. You're going to probably have to have Xcode installed. If you're not a developer, then you'll have to be familiar enough with going into the terminal and making some changes to an XML file or a plist file, which is stored as XML. But once you're comfortable doing that, there's nothing that you can't map in MailMate to a keyboard command or a shortcut. That makes for an extreme degree of power within MailMate. Being able to use all of these key bindings is what you're going to really, it's going to make your day. I mean, it just, it was absolutely wonderful. Now, just choosing the default Gmail, the same thing that I have in Gmail, gives me all of the power that I'm used to. You can see that I'm hitting the J key. Now I'm hitting the K key in order to go up. I can hit the I key or the R key in order to reply. I can hit any of the keys that I'm used to 
in terms of interacting with this. Now you can see right here that I have not already installed the HTML bundle that MailMate comes with. MailMate is an extremely powerful editor for HTML email. In fact, we're going to take a look at using Markdown in order to create our own HTML emails and see how much more power we get than any other standard editor, like the Gmail editor within a browser or within some other clients. It really is a very powerful composer. I'll go ahead and install that right now so that it will be installed. But if I don't want to install to run this email, no problem. I can just close it, go to whatever other email I want. And plus all of your modifier keys, you can see that as I hold down the shift key, it allows me to consecutively select multiple messages and be able to take actions on those, just like we took a look at when we were using our mouse. But those keys, if you're familiar with any key sets, you can build your own that will match Mail's key sets. You can build your own that'll match Outlook's uh, mail sets. It really is up to you in terms of the bindings that you want to use. And there are a number of them that are available. So going through this really quickly, here's what I've done. There are two locations where MailMate references these key bindings from. First is its own application resources, and the second is the application support folder that MailMate creates and where it stores its mail. Now you can see highlighted on screen right here, I have the library, application support, MailMate, resources, key bindings. This folder is not initially set up for you, but it's very easy to create. So what I did is I highlighted this, I created a new finder window, and then I used command shift G so that I could paste in that path. That opened up the folder for MailMate's application support. In order, in order to see what MailMate already has as possible bindings, there aren't as many as I thought. Maybe he may have removed some of them. I went to the application folder, which I just did right now. You can see the MailMate application right there. It's just a very easy right click and choosing show package contents. Once you do that, MailMate's going to open up. Now the contents of the actual application contains a folder called resources. And that's pretty much what you're going to need is the same thing that we see right here when we expand. So over in the application support folder for MailMate, I can create a new folder, call it resources. It's all based on the same name. Then I can create a new folder again and call it key bindings. And if you're afraid of doing that, just go over to the right click that you made, hit the return key, copy, and then just go over, hit the return key again, paste, and you've got the exact same name expected. Now key bindings does need to be within resources, but as long as you have a file that you want to copy, so what I did is I took the Gmail plist file, I copied it over to the key bindings, and then I renamed that to Gmail mat. That's because I wanted to tweak some of the key bindings. I wanted to have the bulk of the Gmail key bindings as provided, but I wanted to tweak some of them so that they would do something a little special in terms of the way that I dealt with them. So over in the preferences, all I had to do was under custom key bindings, instead of referencing something like Gmail, Postbox, or Standard, which Standard I believe is defaulted to, if this is empty or enabled is unchecked, I just simply put in Gmail mat. And as soon as I get out of that particular dialog box, MailMate is now using my custom mappings for keyboard mappings which is adapted from Gmail's mappings. And that was the icing on the cake that really made it very nice in terms of me and being able to keep full control over my keyboard bindings and being able to interact with the client as I see fit.